Today we're diving into media.io, the all-in-one media toolbox. Whether you're looking to convert videos and audio files, compress your media, or even get rid of an unwanted object, media.io promises to be a powerful yet user-friendly solution. In this video, we'll, we'll explore the key features, we'll test its performance and see if it lives up to the hype. I'll even go through some of my favorite tools to show you just how they work. We'll cover it all and I'll give you my honest opinion. So if you're ready to transform your media workflow, use the link in the description to follow along and let's get started. So here we are on media.io. When you click the link, it'll bring you here. So we have products and this gives you kind of a, a high level overview and they are showing some of their most popular tools. If you go to the tools tab, this will give you links to, the, to more of the tools and then if you come down here and click view all now we'll have all of them and then it breaks it out into video image audio and then there's a more section so this is how you'll navigate to find the tool that you want you can obviously use the search bar as well if you know what the tool is called so as you can see the website is very easy to navigate it's easy to to search around and find what you need. All right, so let's kick this off with the first tool being the background remover. So I'm gonna do this with a short video clip. All right, here's just a, a quick preview of what the video is. Just this guy holding some headphones and he's kind of laughing a little bit. So what I like about using this one is you can see his shirt is white and the sky is actually almost white as well. So this is gonna be a great example. It's gonna be a good test of this AI engine. So what you're gonna do is come down here into in the video section, scroll down a little bit and video background remover and click remove background now. And then we'll upload that video. So it takes just a couple minutes to process depending on the length of your video. So here it is after we have processed it and you can see it did a very nice job pulling the background from that white shirt. I mean, even his hair is actually uh, they did a really good job of keeping the hair so you can download this or if you want you can pop in one of their background colors they have some different graphic options that are kind of cool if you wanted to do that as well so this one did a very good job super happy with the result of that if you wanted to do it on a still image so here was the original and then we pulled the background from it it did a really good job um, in my opinion that feathering around the outside is fantastic it did a great job so i did a little comparison in canva with the same photo and this was the result from canva so in my opinion i mean it it, it couldn't figure out what to do up here and then you can see the feathering around it just isn't quite as sharp so in my opinion media.io did, did a much better job of keeping those lines nice and tight and sharp okay so for the next tool we're gonna remove an object let's say you filmed a video or you took a picture and there's an object in that picture that you just don't want right maybe you didn't see it when you took the picture or you were filming and now you need to get rid of it so we're gonna go back to tools this one this tool overall is called Annie eraser so even if we clicked on this video watermark remover that will bring us there so we say remove watermark now so you can see it brought us inside the tool Annie eraser so we'll go ahead and upload our photo all right so I have this photo of a cathedral here you know maybe I, I stepped back and I was so in awe of the cathedral I didn't see these people right here right so let's see if we can remove them all right so we got our brush size we can change that a little bit and we're just gonna go kind of all around the outside you want to feather around the outside a little bit so it knows what is right next to it so it can help fill it in and a click of a button will say remove objects now and we have our result. So let's zoom in and see how good it did. I mean, you guys, look at that. The people are gone. It's pretty incredible. I didn't do a great job here where, you know, I know that this little like flare out should be on this side too. But I think if you step back and if you didn't know that that was there, you wouldn't mind it, right? So overall, it did a pretty good job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the next tool, Image Upscaler. Now, if you've taken a picture on like an old phone or an old camera and you want to use it for something, it's like really bad, you know, it's really grainy, really pixely. This is a fantastic tool. Uh, really excited about this one. So I have a, a photo that I had taken on an old cell phone camera. So we'll upload our photo, brings it into the image enhancer, and you can change how much you want to upscale. So this is just on the two times, and you can see what an incredible difference this did. The, the biggest thing that stands out to me is the grass. I mean, like it's like got these weird splotches in it in the in the original photo, but it made it like nice and smooth, like a real a golf green would be. And then even around all the people you can see how much sharper 
it made it. I mean, this looks like it was taken modern day. Let's see if we do four times. My guess is it won't be too much better. Yeah, I mean, now it's really trying. To, <laughs> you can see it starts to get a little bit like fakey and that's just that's just too much. So the two times is honestly, it's it's fantastic. Really happy with this result again. Another win for Media IO. Okay, so now let's say you had a big picture and you're trying to share it with somebody via email um, or an instant chat or something like that. And it was just too big. So you can come down here to tools and go to the image compressor. And then this will basically make a, a zip file and it will compress the photo down so that you can send it. So again, just like all of the tools here that we've used, it's as simple as uploading your media and then you can do a few files at once. And it's with a simple click of a button, hit compress and it works. This one works really fast. So the output of this is your zip file that you can go ahead and then send. Okay, the next tool is kind of cool. This one, if we go to view all, we're going to go over to the audio tab this time and we're going to go to the AI music generator. So this is a pretty slick tool. You can generate your own um, royalty free music because it's using AI and it's generating something a little bit different each time. So you can click on your mood or you can go ahead and pick a genre and kind of start from there and create music. It's going to do its thing. You can choose what length you want. If you wanted it longer, shorter, if you're just looking for a little clip and then it's going to give us a few options to choose from. Depending on the genre, it will give you more options. But you can see here's a cinematic one. We can try that one. So pretty cool, guys. This is pretty slick. And then you can just go ahead and download it right to your computer and use it for your, for your music video or for presentation or whatever you're doing. Another fun tool. Go ahead and play around with that. It's, it's a lot of fun. OK, so the next one, our last tool that we're going to be exploring today is the base editor. This is under the photo section. If you look at all the fun stuff we can do, we can change your expression. We can add age, add facial hair. We can change like how it kind of looks and appears, watercolor. So let's give it a try and see how it works. Again, guys, I mean, you, the, the user interface is, it's so easy and so intuitive. And I just love that. So let's just use one of their example photos here, this gal. And then we have obviously different effects. If we wanted to put an age filter on, let's see what she'll look like at 77. She's definitely not 77. <laughs> oh boy. All right, there you have it. <laughs> kind of a fun thing to play around with. So if you just hit the trash can, we can start again. All right, let's look at some of these cartoon ones. Let's see what she would look like as a watercolor. Pretty cool, right? So a lot of things to play with. We can also make her look at like an emoji or something or upload another image. We can put the money here and then have her look at it. So let's see how it does this. Wow, so look at that. It, it made the object, we can drag the object around. And she can be looking at that is wild. That is pretty cool, guys. What if it's down here? Look at how it's changing her facial expression. That is pretty neat. That's powerful. Have fun with that. That is that is really slick. All right, guys, so those are my favorite tools. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. There's probably more than 30 or 40 tools in here. and. They're a lot of fun. So explore around, find something that you, you like and enjoy. I mean, obviously there are other applications that can do similar things and maybe they do them a little bit better. You know, for example, the screen recorder, right? There's other applications such as Loom or OBS Studios that you know, have are a little bit more powerful than this one, but highlighting my top few that I really like that do a really good job. I hope that is helpful for you. If it is, if you're getting value out of this, will you hit that like button? And if you like seeing more of these videos, hit the subscribe. We'd love to see you around. All right. So let's talk about what does this cost? Obviously there's a few things you can do for free. Some of their AI tools that we just explored, you can kind of mess around with for free. Some of the downloads will have watermarks. But if you wanted to really do this and be serious about it, you can come over here to pricing. They have monthly options where, you know, you can cancel at any time if you wanted to use it for a month. All of their plans are a 30 day money back guarantee. So try it out, see how it works. The yearly one gets a little bit cheaper. Again, you can cancel this at any time as well. And so if you didn't want to do like the whole package where you get access to all the tools, you can just come over here to tools and then choose a tool that works for you. Let's say maybe you're only going to be doing the image enhancing, right? Or 
you only want to do something like noise reducer, right? So you can come in and pick and choose a specific tool for what your needs are. You can see the other thing we get is we get 20 gigs of storage. It's another amazing feature. You can keep your media here in the cloud instead of going back and forth. I think that's a great feature. Honestly, I mean, this is a great price. I mean, even at the monthly $10, it's cheaper than Canva Pro. And in my opinion, there's a lot of things it does better. So check it out. Take a peek. Guys, thanks for watching. Comment down below and let me know what you think. See you in the next one.